Fire Channel. So this is the news lately. Uh, we have plays leaving like what's it girls left the Bristol Flies. He's explosive. I believe he was doing a lot for the Bristol Flies. It is a shame to see him leave. Another guy who I thought was really explosive with the BBL this year, and that is a lot, a lot, Sorry, Lajiri <laughs> Durham. Forgive me. I'll get that right. Uh, but yeah, he's leaving. He's going to a different league, completely behind top pain league in Germany. And I forgot the other guy who was leaving. There was another guy who left uh, to go to another team. Um, you know, lots of these players are leaving to go to other teams where they get better careers. Uh, I think right now really is, is a good time to be in the BBL, but then again, I only am looking at it from the fans' perspective. So, you know, we all are, that's what we're all here for. We're looking at it from our, our, our perspective as fans. We're looking at it thinking to ourselves that we've got a good deal, the league is growing, uh, but we have to also look at it as a player perspective as well. So, we've got to open our minds and see they want to go to the next step. Sometimes it's for money, sometimes it's for challenge, you know. So, but yeah, they're on to the next step from their career. Uh, um, so yeah, I'm looking at these players and I've been looking at a lot of these players courtesy to Dave Owens Basketball and I've seen a lot of these young guys who I think should be involved in the BBL or, or somewhat, you know, I mean there was one guy who's involved in the BBL and that's obviously everybody knows him as Bradley Caboza, well, that's his name, Bradley Caboza, he is involved in the BBL. He's a great player um, you know a great player I think that he could be played a lot more and he's not played enough but then again he is on a very 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 talent heavy uh, squad that that squad is so talented uh, I mean, he, he wouldn't really get that much time so for me he should be moved on to a, a team where he can become the talisman because he's, he's a fantastic player you know when he's on when he's definitely on the court he just takes over the court like you know he eventually like if you see London Lions when they're really down and Bradley comes on he's like this is what they need so I think if the London Lions um they're obviously gonna always add more talent if they're not got a role for him to really play in I think they need to just like, let him let him move on and I don't mean let move on to a different league hopefully not I, I think he's just play and stay in the league with Manchester that's what I'm thinking I think you should go to Manchester uh, because they need some decent players out there even though they have got decent players but they need that youthful invigorating players out there in my opinion um, but yeah so I just started thinking what other players here and I don't really know a lot of players uh, under the age of 18 or anything like that in the, in, in, in the UK unfortunately but there's this guy this channel uh, this youth so this website called Dave Owens Basketball the Court UK he's got most of the stats of the players so if you come on this you get to see a lot of the players uh, uh, who are the uh, top leagues top players in the league and especially young players which you know uh, which you know is, is needed because we don't know uh, which is unfortunate but you know we don't know that much uh, so I looked at these players uh, Josh Edwards uh, apparently he was really good in the in Florida um, I don't know too much about him uh, but I looked at the stats given here by Dave Rowan um, and it's, to me he doesn't look that bad I, I see him playing in some, somewhere like Surrey Scorchers or even the Cheshire Phoenix he's definitely he could grow with, within those teams I just don't see why not I mean we need young talent to come into the league why not the talent that's right here I don't understand uh, why these guys have reached out to you but then again like I said I'm on the outside and you know it's a different kettle of fish maybe he is different I, I don't know what's going on really but yeah these guys are good I think they can play in the BBL and I'm saying that these are talented players obviously you know there's to me a star in the making in my opinion Quinn Ellis another guy you know he's you know from Dave Owen again giving us some stats he plays in Italy right now uh, he plays 33 games in Italy he got 30 minutes he's 10 point average um, so yeah I mean, he, he looks like a good player he can play in the BBL another guy that will be 
a big play in the PPL. Obviously, you know, we there's leagues out there that's right now are stronger than the BBL, but at the same time, you know, to me, if if I'm a team in the BBL, I'll be trying to approach these guys, uh, make them into the talisman for the club. But that's my opinion. Anyway, with all that going on, I'm excited because I got just been seeing news that Sheffield Sharks has updated the logo and then they said something about their new arena which is you know I don't want to see that obviously I'm a London Lions fan, fan but I just like anything to do with architecture and building and all that kind of stuff yeah I don't know just don't ask me about that and um, so yeah I'm excited for that the thing I want to talk about and I'm going to talk about this in my next video is what our Plymouth Patriots going to do you know um, I didn't talk about this last time I talked about the venues but Plymouth Patriots literally have nowhere to go in the 23rd 23rd 24th season sorry 23 and 24 season no it says 23rd but 20 and 23 and 24 season they can't play at the pavilions because their contract is done unless they extend it and if they extend it are they putting themselves in the risk because they said they couldn't even afford to stay at the pavilions in the first place that's why they had to leave this is what caused the uh, raiders to go under because you know the pavilions is very expensive to rent out for a basketball match so my question is what are they going to do for the you know for the for the future what they're going to do for the next match so that's my question um what's the patriots going to do? that's going to be my next video i'm going to try and research also on the next video i'm going to do some more research into the young players in england and what they're doing what they're up to and try and bring it to the forefront of basically youtube see what's up up with that you know see what people are doing um we've got events anyway like the program that uh, who fix has got on He's obviously getting lots of young guys and young girls uh, involved. So, but yeah. Anyway, that's it for me. I'll see you next Tuesday. So, until then, peace.